You've probably seen those timers that show up in a pop-up when you go to an e-commerce site and always wondered, how do I do that in Elementor? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. All right, I'm sure you've seen uh, this kind of pop-up, kind of when you go to a website, when you're shopping around, it'll, this pop-up will show up and then it'll tell you, you know, you get some kind of discount and then you have some kind of uh, countdown and when you click on this, it'll take you to a form. So I'm going to I'm gonna kind of show you how to do that just by using Elementor, actually. It's actually quite simple. You don't need a plugin like Optin Monster. So we're going to go now into our back end. We're going to go to Dashboard. We're going to choose Templates. We're going to choose Pop-up. And we're going to create a new one by clicking Add New. And we're going to call this uh, Countdown Timer Pop-up. So we're going to click create template and then we're going to exit out of this pop-up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is select our design. So I think I'm going to make it just one, one, um, one a column. We're going to click on that and then we're going to choose the settings on the left hand side and then we're going to make this a little bit bigger just so we have a little bit more room to work with. Uh, we're going to keep everything in the height to fit the content because we want it in the center here, horizontal, center, vertically center. The overlay is nice and we want a close button, of course. Um, I think that looks good. I don't think there's anything else here I would want. I just want to publish it. And then I think that's good. We are going to go to the pop-up window and we are going to change it to a green or maybe we just, we just yellow. Let's just use yellow for this one in particular. And let's add a little bit of a uh, border around it. We're going to do a five pixel border and we're going to make that green. Let's do a 10 pixel border. All right, 10 pixel border to make it green so it sends out a little bit even more. We are going to use green for the overlay. Let's see how we feel about that once we do it. Again, just to make it a little bit different, stands out a little bit more. Uh, they have a little bit of a, of a tint themselves, so I think that was going to work well. Um, maybe we'll make you ours also uh, to have a little bit of a radius corner on, this, on the corner here. So we are going to go to, let's see, is it general settings, uh, style, and we're going to add a radius. That's a little too much. So let's add five, a little bit more, ten. Okay, I think that looks good. Perfect. We're going to go to the close button and we're going to make it bigger. I'm going to do 26. And we're going to make it green as well. Don't judge my, my design. I'm just trying to do this quickly to make sure it looks good. It works the way that we want it. All right. We are going to disable scrolling because we want when the pop up to show up. So for people not to be able to scroll like I'm doing here. We want to avoid multiple pop-ups so you don't have a lot of them. I think it's fair to allow people to close the button whenever they want. Um, I think this is good. These are the good settings right now. So let's go into our builder and we're going to add our sales lines. We're going to add a heading. Uh, here we're going to say we're going to add our we're going to add an H2 tag. And we're going to say spring sale all right and we're going to center this and then we're going to add the details spring so actually we're just going to have the call to action so the the deal on here save 35 percent off all orders all orders okay and then we're going to add another heading and then here we're going to give them the offer so we're going to choose smaller heading we're just going to type in um what do they have let's see oh, this is the yours limited time only okay so i like that and instead of using a heading for that i'm just going to use some text so we're going to add the text editor move it over and we're going to write limited time only I'll click on the button below to plain Perfect, we're gonna center this as well. Perfect, and then we're gonna make that, let's see what color can we use. 
Mm, that's not good. I'm not happy with much with the yellow, but let's just stick to it for now. Let's add some negative margin here. Just bring things a little tighter together. Perfect. Let's just hit update so we save our work. We're going to show this on all the pages and we're going to show it on page load. For now, we'll go back and, and fix some things. So say 35% of orders. And then now we want to add a, a little countdown like they did. So let's do that now. All right, perfect. So let's add a countdown. So we're going to add it here. All right, boom. Here's a countdown right from Elementor. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what the options are. You either have the the days and the and the actual time, you know, next to each other. We're using inline, or we can use block. I think I like block. It's a little bit more clear. Um, we don't want to show days, right? Because we want to incentivize people to that this is a limited time offer. Um, and you can either show the labels or not. I think obviously showing the label the labels makes more sense. Uh, is going to be a due date. So we're going to make this event end at a certain time. So let's say it's going to end today. Let's let me think about this. All right. So let's just make it so it expires a week from now. So we're going to choose a week from now, which would be the 22nd. And then it's going to expire at the end of the night. So boom. Why is it saying so far away? wrong day perfect seven days from now perfect all right so people have a week to make this offer work all right so we're just going to edit this a little bit using the style and then we're going to choose the container width we can make that a little bit smaller so we want it to be 80 percent and then we want the background color i don't know i don't want this to look a little bit crazy so i know it's looking a little bit crazy Let's just choose the green color. That's fine. Again, this is for the purposes of showing you an example. Um, do I want a radius around the background? I do like a little more space between. So let's do 20 pixels. And I think I'm happy with everything else. I'm happy with the color of the digits. Uh, why don't you just try one thing? I think I'm just going to leave it white and then the label I might make that light. There we go. I think I like that better. Let's see update and let's kind of look to see what our our pop-up is looking like right now. Ooh, that does not look good. Okay, let's force refresh. All right, if something like that happens, we're going to try to go ahead and clear the cache. And then let's try one more time. All right, here we go. Now we have some a nice looking countdown on our website with some green around it. Again, don't judge my design right now. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of spacing around because it kind of looks things a little bit tight. So we're going to just add 20 pixels around it. It should look a little bit nicer. And again, like if you saw how it didn't render how we wanted it. Make, you can always go into the back end and make sure you don't have your cache set on. Okay, that looks a lot better already. All right, so the last thing we need is some kind of disclaimer. So we're going to add a disclaimer at the bottom before we add the button. So offer available to first time buyers. Some restrictions apply your hands I believe it was April 22nd 23 okay we're gonna make that white and we're gonna lower the size of our text to about 12 it's a little bit hard to read so we just make it I know it's looking a little bit crazy but Again, we're just trying to get the idea of how to recreate something similar to this. Okay, so then you're going to have a link to claim my discount. Let's see how they do it. You click on claim my discount. It's going to take you to another page, to an actual uh, page here on Optimus. Now, this is kind of crazy that they actually have this pop-up show up well, again. Uh, we don't want that. I think that's kind of annoying. So let's go to ours and let's just create a button. And this button is going to 
let's center it here. And then it's gonna, it's gonna allow you to claim the deal. So I'm gonna put here, claim my discount. And then this is just gonna take you to a pricing page. So let's just write down. All right, so in our purposes, you're, you're obviously just gonna take them to a So now once you click on it, you'll be taken to, to the about page in our case. Uh, but if you have some kind of pricing page, you will take them there. Uh, I want to do one more thing. Um, let's see if there's any settings that we can apply to this pop-up. So once somebody clicks on this button, we can um, not show them the, the pop-up again. So let's see. Yeah, so we're going to have to go back into here, allow this to happen, and then we just do it under our display conditions. So if they close the button here on the top, then the claim my discount won't show up. Or the one thing you could do is if you go to display conditions, you can exclude the pop-up from showing up on that on that page. Now, obviously, it depends. You have to kind of play it. Uh, because you know if somebody comes to this page and you kind of want to show them the discount but you're kind of already showing them the discount up here so I wouldn't I would exclude that page from getting the discount so let's just do that real quick to show you so you would exclude a singular page and I would choose the about page so next uh, this deal is going to show up on page load and actually it's going to show up on exit intent so oh, let's, which is something I haven't shown you yet. So let's say somebody goes to the website and they, they're leaving. You want to show them this discount, and we can show them the page just for a certain number of times. Yeah, but let's just let's keep it simple. Let's save and close. That's gonna update it. All right, once it's updated, we're gonna refresh the page. All right, refresh. Okay, so here's the discount. Oops. Do it again. Where did my discount? Oh, oh, here it goes. Okay, so here's the discount. I'm gonna hit claim my claim my discount. It's gonna take me to the about page. Uh, look at that. It's showing up on this page. That's interesting. It shouldn't show up here. So let's go back into the countdown timer. Let's see why it did that. Let's go to let's go to display conditions. Exclude singular page about. That's interesting. Why did it do that? Save and close again. Let's give it one more shot. I wonder it's because we have the page load on exit intent. That's why it wasn't loaded. I completely forgot that I put it by exit intent. So let's look at the events rules. Sure, after X page view, show us after sessions when arriving from a specific URL. Yeah, this should work. Let's give it one more shot. All right, let's try one more time. Let's see if it even shows up on the about page. So I'm here. I don't want to get out. Okay, now it's not showing up here. It could be that we just need to clear the cache. So let's go into the cache, clear the cache, open the website again. Okay, now I'm on the home page. I'm heading out. I get the pop up. Oh crap! It's 35 percent off. I'm gonna hit clear my discount. That's gonna take me to the about page and there is no pop-up anywhere so that's it that's how you kind of get uh do something kind of like opt-in monster did where you have the little spring sale uh, pop-up show up like this and that's how you create in elementor a pop-up timer with the sale that you can use in your e-commerce site let me know if you liked the video by hitting the like button and subscribe thank you so much and see you soon